I show up hands, how many of you are going to the beach this weekend? Nobody. Yeah, we have uh, a good future to build. Um, when you plan to go, uh, you know, I know a lot of you when you go, you apply some sunscreen to your bodies before you leave because you want to protect yourself against um, the, some harmful radiations that come from the sun. Um, recently, that uh, um, this young boy went to school and uh, put on the sunscreen and when he came back home, um, his father has to rush him to the hospital because he had all this uh, burn on his face. Um, and uh, if he has uh, applied the proper sunscreen material, um, this uh, child will not have the burn or rush to the hospital. Um, today's um, and then it's my learning of the objective uh, at the end of this uh, uh, at the end of this uh, experiment, you'll be able to design a control experiment and you'll be able to test the effectiveness of the sense um, you know, the If you look at the slide of this sheet of paper, you see that on the uh, right hand side there is this the sun. The sun, you see that there's rays, a very, a very large arrow pointing down to the earth. Uh, light, light, as we know, consists of electromagnetic, electromagnetic waves. That is, uh, because light has uh, the wave properties, and also light also has the particle, the particle, the particle properties of waves. The wave properties of uh, the characteristic of the wave is this wavelength given by lambda. Another property, another uh, characteristic of waves is that waves also have frequency and usually they are related uh, in some way to the formula given by C equals H times F. Also, the particle nature of uh, light is uh, we think of light according to Einstein. Any particle, every particle, like my particle, as a particle, I have energy. And my energy, the, the energy of light is given, uh, is called uh, photon. And photons do have uh, uh, a relationship. I mean, the energy of photons is given by each times the frequency of each times the room. So when you actually combine all of it together, you see that C is equal to uh, H. This is the wave number. This, this is the wave number. I can write it down. This right here is the wave number. And that's what usually you determine when you come to um, the visible spectrum. We, you can think of the visible spectrum as being. Which means that if 
I absorb uh, something, I absorb a photon, the irradiance from the source, which if you call the irradiance P, P sub zero, usually the P sub zero is less than the P. I mean, the, the one that comes up. And um, we think of, I'm going to demonstrate this in this lab. I'm going to demonstrate it by uh, showing you a couple. So this, but this, my, this piece right here, in this lab, you see that the piece right here has um, a property. There is there is a chromophore in this that absorbs light. And when it absorbs light, the radius usually, I mean, when it absorbs light, I can go through the, the principle, the very large principle, where you see that it, the lowest line orbital, the um, S0, I mean, uh, which is the ground state of these electrons, actually should that go to a decided state to T uh, to S1. And usually, you know, like, depending on uh, whether it goes to a radiative process or it goes to, let's say, um, and it cross to, let's say, T1 state, it can actually, you can get the fluorescence or phosphorescence, or you can also get some kind of, like, refract refraction, uh, refla refractive uh, stuff, like, when light uh, hit this one, it can be refracted to a different, and that refract reflection that comes out of these beads into our eyes is what we see as different. Usually, that which is absorbed, that which is actually now uh, this one, as I said, is always less. I mean, it's greater than this. So, um, we are looking at these characteristics. It's the same thing that works with human eyes and also our skin. Um, so, we see in this experiment that actually um, you will need uh, these beads. You will need these beads, and also you will need uh, this paper plate. You will also need uh, SPF 15. This is, this is a sound play motion. When you test the effectiveness of this uh, uh, motions, those that actually have very good uh, uh, what you call it, uh, sound protective factor, which means that if your if if, if <laughs> okay. Those that have like you would we test it and then after that we can rank the different you know, we we see at the end of the talk that basically the F fifty probably is 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 better than the SPF fifteen and then at the end we see the different but as we do the experiment you see that after. Um, this is the procedure for the lab for today. So um, as you can see, the A part, the A part says that basically you're going to take, first you're going to take this piece, this uh, 14 of these pieces or 16 or more, and then you're going to go take this one and then uh, put it on this, on this uh, plate right here, and then you're going to cover it with aluminum foil, and then you're going to take it right here, and then shine this light through it to see what happens. As you can see, as I shine the lights through this, this is changing color. It's absorbing the beads, it's changing color as a result of what I just explained to you. The, as the wavelength from the source actually hit this, it's kind of like the refractiveness is changing, and, but the frequency is the same, but there's a change in color as you can see. So I'm going to bring it back, I'm going to put it back, and then we're going to go to the second step. And the second step, it says, uh, the second step, it says, okay, we're going to take, we're going to divide this into twos. And into twos, I'm going to take, let's say, six, six of these. I'm going to leave six behind, and then I'm going to make two a control. The two that control, and then I'm going to take two 
First, the first two I'm going to record it with SPF 15. When I call it with S S S P A 15, this is my sun protective factor 15, which means I'm trying to protect this. Uh, this is my skin layer. I'm trying to protect my skin layer with S P A 15. And the second part, I'm going to put myself with S P A. SPF 50. And as you can see, according with SPF 50. And then I'm going to take two of these. Yeah. And so I'm going to take two of these and basically put it right here. And I'm going to take two and put it right there. So, Then I'm going to take this and put it under the sun, under the UV to see what happens. When I irradiate this, I bring it back and I want to see whether this one changes. As you can see, nothing happened to this. See, so this one is a very good sun protective factor, but here, this one changes to, this one changes a little bit. This one, the control part, which is the two right here, changes a lot more than the SPF 15 and the SPF 50. So as you can see, there's a trend depending on what kind of sunscreen material that I'm using. You can see that there's a difference. So, um, so in, to cut the holes, uh, I mean the long story short, you can see that um, various sunscreen materials actually have different uh, different sunscreen material have different absorptive properties. Um, so in this lab, as you work through this lab, I want you to uh, wear your uh, safety goggles because this one right here can have like, and then when you finish the experiment, you have to wash your hands. So to check for understanding, I would like to pass uh, this down and see how you understand the map. How you understand the map. Please stay for me. It's a very simple.
So the first question asks, um, if you want to test the effectiveness of your sensory pool, what would serve as the control? You see that in the control, I did not put any sunscreen on. The two that I left without putting the sunscreen on, and that changed our light the most. So that's um, the way of design and um, transparent. The second one also asks a question of what is the maximum wavelength of different angles. Table has been given, so all that you have to do is to get I've seen that people have done it. So, which means that people were able to get there. They said that okay, red is between 4 I and mean, 500, and the maximum wavelength, and actually, also, it corresponds to that, which is quite bad. So, I think uh, you all did good, and uh, so at the end, uh, I hope you've been able to. Uh, learn how to design a control experiment, and also you'll be able to test the effectiveness of the sensory material. As you can see, uh, the SPA 50 uh, um, and, and the SPA 50 is best when it comes to emotions, and actually when you use the prescription bottle, uh, when you buy stuff, when you go to when you buy stuff in a prescription bottle, it, uh, the, I mean the sun, the UVBs will not be able to affect change the characteristics of the sun.